Ma'asim, Acts 24. And after five days, Hanan Ya'u, the high priest, descended with the elders and with a certain orator, rather, orator named Tertullus, rather, Tertullus, who informed the governor against Paul. And when he was called forth, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, Seeing that by you we enjoy great quietness, and that very worthy deeds are done unto this nation by your providence, we accept it always, and in all places, most noble Felix, with all thankfulness, notwithstanding that I be not further tedious unto you, I pray that you would hear us of your clemency a few words. For we have found this man a pestilent fellow, and a mover of sedition among all the Yaudim throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Netzarim, who also has gone about to profane the temple, whom we took, and would have judged according to our Torah. But the chief captain, Lysias, came upon us, and with great violence took him away out of our hands, commanding his accusers to come unto you, by examining of whom yourselves may take knowledge of eth all these things, whereof we accuse him. And the Yaudim also assented, saying that these things were so. Then Paul, after that the governor had beckoned unto him to speak, answered, For as much as I know that you have been of many years a judge unto this nation, I do the more cheerfully answer for myself, because that you may understand that there are yet but twelve days since I went up to Yerushalayim for to worship. And they neither found me in the temple disputing with any man, neither raising up the people, neither in the synagogues, nor in the city. Neither can they prove the things whereof they now accuse me. But this I confess unto you, that after the way which they call heresy, so worship I Yahuwah of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the Torah and in the prophets, and have hope toward Yahuwah, which they themselves also allow that there shall be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and unjust. And herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense toward Yahuwah and toward men. Now, after many years, I came to bring alms to my nation and offerings, whereupon certain Yahudim from Asia found me purified in the temple neither with multitude nor with tumult, who ought to have been here before you and object if they had aught against me. Or else let these same here say, if they have found any evil doing in me while I stood before the council, except it be for this one voice, that I cried standing among them, touching the resurrection of the dead, I am called in question by you this day. And when Felix heard these things, having more perfect knowledge of that way, he deferred them and said, When Lysias the chief captain shall come down, I will know the uttermost of your matter. And he commanded a centurion to guard at Paal, and to let him have liberty, and that he should forbid none of his acquaintance to minister or come unto him. And after certain days, when Felix came with his woman Drusilia, rather Drusilla, which was a Yaudi, he sent for Paul and heard him concerning the belief in Hamashiach. And as he reasoned of righteousness, temperance, and judgment to come, Felix trembled and answered, Go your way for this time. When I have a convenient season, I will call for you. He hoped also that money should have been given him of Paul, that he might loose him. Wherefore he sent for him the oftener, and communed with him. But after two years, Porcius Festus came into Felix's room, 
and Felix, willing to show the Yaudim a pleasure, left Paul bound 